Hi Virgo, this is your February mid-month tarot reading. We'll have three separate spreads in this mid-month reading. In the first spread, we'll be looking at love, and it could be new love, existing love, love from the past, whatever comes up. The second spread is good news coming towards you in the next uh, couple of weeks. And uh, spread number three is an advice for you, Virgo, for the remainder of uh, February. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on love, Virgo, and it could be new love or it could be existing love, okay? Uh, we have uh, the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Queen of Wands. We have uh, the Two of Cups. Then we have uh, the King of Wands, clarified by the Three of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Nine of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles and the Sun. Then we also have the Chariot on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, near as Leo Sagittarius, but also have Earth. Taurus, another Virgo Capricorn, and uh, we have Cancer on the table, but you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. Um, I like it a lot, Virgo, even though it doesn't really feel like a Virgo reading, right, especially the main spread on the left, but it gets kind of Virgo. <laughs> it gets a little more like a Virgo reading in the potential outcome with that Knight of Pentacles in the middle, all right? But uh, yeah, we've got the King and the Queen of Wands, all right? Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but uh, I often interpret the King and the Queen of Wands in the same spread as uh, partners in crime couple. Hopefully not literally, okay? But yeah, the King and the Queen of Wands, two people are on the same page. Both people are very similar. Perhaps you work in this for the same company, you work in the same industry, or you have very similar interests. Right? Um, perhaps the two of you will just simply click when the two of you um, meet each other. For some of you, if this is somebody who is already in your life um, and uh, you've been seeing this person, I think in the second half of February you guys will like uh, solidify this connection. Solidify the fact that the two of you are together or something along those lines. If this is a new person, I think you guys will hit the ground running. You'll get very serious and very exciting, very loving from the get-go. It's like the two of you will click right away, immediately. All right? Some of you could be meeting this person on the road while you're on the road, right? Because we have the Wheel of Fortune, the first card I came out, then we have uh, the Chariot on the bottom of the deck. Uh, the Chariot is one of the fastest cards in the deck. And so for some of you, you could be on the road or one of you could be moving, relocating, Right, and perhaps if you relocate or if they relocate, relocate, you could be a new person who is, lives close to you or somebody who starts at your workplace. You could be meeting this person through, um, I don't know, dealership, a vehicle car dealership or through a service station. Right, you could be meeting this person at the car race <laughs> or something like that. But uh, yeah, with the, the chariot is uh, one of the fastest cards in the deck. And it's also a card of like moving forward and not looking back. It's a card of victory, success, triumph great card to have, right? So, yes, we got the King and the Queen of Wands. Uh, the Queen of Wands is clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, again, the travel card, or simply starting a cycle, a very fortunate new cycle. The word fortune is there for a reason. It could be like a very fortunate turn of events for some of you. That's what the uh, Wheel of Fortune could be. Then we have the Two of Cups. It's a soulmate card. It's a card of two people on the same page, it's a card of uh, two people feeling the same way towards one another, or feeling the same way towards something. Perhaps both of you, like I said, have a lot of s similar interests, common goals, what have you. It could be some kind of a business deal that you're signing and, uh, you know, who knows what happens next. <laughs> uh, two business partners or something like that. And then we got the King of Wands clarified by the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a card of a union. It could also be a card of some kind of a celebration. Going back to that uh, signing a business deal, perhaps you guys are going to close a deal, sign a business deal, sign something, and then uh, you're all going to go celebrate. Then the, that's how the two of you will get this uh, moving forward or something like that. You know, for some of you, the Three of Cups could be some kind of an event you're meeting this person at. All right. Um, what have you, right? In the potential outcome, we have the Nine of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles and uh, the Sun. Like I said, this is where it starts feeling more like a Virgo reading, right? The Knight of Pentacles is an Earth sign indicator. It's often associated with you directly, Virgo. But the Knight of Pentacles is all about um, planning ahead right? With the Knight of Pentacles, you can always plan 5, 10, 20, 50 years into the future. 
uh, this night is the most serious, the most grounded, the most long-term oriented night out of all four nights. The Nine of Cups to the left from the Knight to Pentacles is a card that will wish come true. It's a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. The Sun right next to the deck could be a Leo you're dealing with, but the Sun is a card of um, you know feeling on top of the world. It's the happiest card in the deck. So I think you're gonna be both of you are gonna be really happy that the two of you found your match, your perfect match, your partner in crime. Really happy for you, Virgo. Congratulations. Here's some good news for you, Virgo, uh, for the second uh, half of February. We have uh, the world, uh, death, the five of pentacles, clarified by justice. And we also have the five of swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Libra, or any zodiac sign. You know, Virgo, I see spreads like this every once in a while. Not a lot, but uh, every once in a while spreads like this do come through. Somebody is getting what they deserve. I don't think that's you. But uh, I think you know who this is, and this person somehow screwed you over in the past. And it could be about love, or it could be about absolutely anything. Friendship, money, work, business, what have you. Somebody is getting what they deserve. Okay? If somebody broke up with you, and it was like in an ugly way, if somebody cheated on you, broke up with you, left you for someone else, you will somehow learn that that person is now breaking up with them. Right? It's like karma. Karma, for sure, in, the, in a very negative way for that person, for that individual. Because karma could go either way. You know, karma is a complex thing, but if we sort of strip it down to bare bones, yes, it's either negative or positive. In this case, this is definitely negative karma, but since this is good news for you, Virgo, this is negative bad karma for someone else. Okay? Something is definitely coming to an end. Somebody could be getting fired. Right? If somebody screwed you over at work, they're getting fired. Okay? Somebody is breaking up, somebody is severing ties, and it's supposed to be good news for you. Alright? Let me know in the comments down below how this plays out for you. Um, if it's not too personal or not too private. But something is coming to an end and some, somebody here is suffering because they're getting what they deserve. Alright? Cool. Here's an advice for you, Virgo, uh, for the next couple of weeks. Uh, we have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Three of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, we have the Fool, clarified by the uh, Queen of Pentacles. And uh, we have the Chariot on the bottom of the deck. Well, um, here's the deal, Virgo. I think this has something to do with the first spread, the love spread. Because <laughs> this spread right here we're that we're looking at, this is you taking a leap of faith. Okay, that's the advice for you to take a leap of faith, and I believe this has to do with the first spread. Because remember, I mentioned that the left part of the spread, of the, of the first spread, looked not exactly <laughs> like you. So perhaps this advice right here confirms that. So, um, Virgos and Earth signs in general, you guys like to take things slow, you guys like to plan things uh, from the get-go, you like to get to know the person first, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. That's what I like about you, Virgos, because you're excellent in planning, excellent in strategizing, uh, you don't make uh, crazy decisions. <laughs> But uh, with this person, when this person shows up, I'm not saying you should make a crazy decision. If you feel like this is the right person for you, which, which as we saw in the first part, it is your perfect match, then, uh, you know, take a leap of faith with them, right? Don't hesitate, don't drag this along, take a leap of faith with them, all right? Think outside the box a little bit. You may have to step out of your comfort zone, Virgo, but uh, it's going to be worth it. Okay, it's, it is going to pay off, as we saw in the first spread, in the love spread. So this spread right here is you making up your mind, making a final decision to take a leap of faith. The Queen of Pentacles right next to the deck, that's you clarifying the Fool. The Fool is a card of taking a leap of faith. The Chariot on the bottom of the deck, I think we had, we had both the Chariot and the Wheel of Fortune, right, in the first spread. The Chariot is a card of either li literally going somewhere, it could be uh, somehow associated with vehicles, or relocating, or simply moving forward and not looking back. The Wheel of Fortune in the middle, starting your cycle, right? And uh, the Ace of Swords, uh, clarified by the Three of Wands, all the way to your left. This is, those two cards together, this is a decision to do something, right? If we want to um, interpret those two cards separately, those two cards are talking about making the final decision after which there is no turning back. Right, the Three of Wands is a card of somebody who made up their mind. The Ace of Swords is a card of clarity. This card often comes to the word yes. 
And this is a yes to taking a leap of faith with this person that we saw in the, in the love spread. All right, Virgo, yeah, that's, I knew, I knew it. <laughs> it didn't feel like a Virgo reading in the beginning. But uh, definitely something serious coming your way with this person. All right, so that's the advice, and uh, that's what I have for you, Virgo, for this reading. For this time period, if this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Virgo, have an amazing the rest of February.